Hey, welcome back to <clears throat> BE101X. Uh, just a quick response to some comments on the discussion board. Uh, a lot of you have seen or read uh, Danny Kahneman's book called Thinking Fast and Slow. And in the book, Kahneman makes a distinction between two, two types of thinking, two systems of thinking. System one, um, which is fast, impulsive, uses... Uh, intuition to make quick judgments. System two is slow, deliberative, uh, collects lots of information, systematically organizes it, and so on and so forth. And the book never quite says it, but a lot of people who comment on the book uh, have this implicit value judgment where they believe that system one is bad, that we should avoid system one. <coughs> And I wanted to actually make a comment on that is, is system one, if properly trained, if our reflexes are good, our intuition is good, it's well trained, then in fact, system one has many benefits. It, it makes decisions quickly. Uh, it's efficient. And, and oftentimes you don't want to spend too much time uh, in making a decision for lots of trivial things. And so system one has the benefits of efficiency. And if in fact, System one is well trained and well developed. Um, then, in fact, we could actually use it to great potential. So, let me give you a couple of quick examples. Let's imagine we are looking at some real-world problems like uh, financial literacy or health education or uh, literacy more broadly. Um, oftentimes, we think about delivering education in a system two format. Like we teach our students to calculate net present values and to think about cash flows uh, for what would make one financial product better than the other. But when they're sitting in front of their financial advisor and they're choosing between credit cards or mortgages, they don't need all of that. They need rules of thumb. They need heuristics. Uh, and that's exactly what system one can provide. Or likewise with health education. Uh, so oftentimes there are domains where, yes, system two can provide the most accurate answer, but from a pragmatic perspective, uh, system two might create uh, analysis paralysis. People might get stuck. They might be unable to make a decision. And so oftentimes, while we say that the goal of training people to make better decisions is to push them from system one to system two, uh, we could well be in situations where the opposite is true, where we, in fact, want people uh, to use system one. Uh, the trick is to make sure that the heuristics uh, and rules of thumb that we teach them are as diagnostic as they can be. Uh, so just a quick comment that I wanted to share, uh, and thank you again for participating in the discussion boards.